this is Sifu de Costas, and I am representing the Lama system, Tibetan White Crane of the Lama system. Um, I've heard several comments about our style being too open, all of the Lama styles, and this has been driving me crazy over the years, even in Hong Kong, where you could say the style had its biggest following. People are making the same complaints. And one of the reasons are, when you watch our basic fists, we tend to, yes, be extended in both directions. Some would even go as far as to fully extend both hands to make a basic strike. And what I need to explain to people, that in the Lama style, our most important principle for generating power is a twist. So if I was standing on a line, when I go to strike, I should twist it enough so that my shoulders line up over the line. So to do this, we train students, would you please stand over the line? And face that way, feet shoulder width. Yeah, straddle the line. And then do the, the, the punches that we just did, the straight punch, the double fist. And in the beginning, we train people to punch like this. Now, ideally, bend both knees. Even this part should be coming around. Fist lined up over that line. That lined up over that line. So yes, she's wide open for attack. Fist, elbow, shoulder to shoulder. Elbow to fist to target in both directions. Should pretty much be a straight line. But while we're doing this, it's strictly to train this twisting motion so that this becomes easier. That's why this is done. And then the next stage would be this hand comes to here. So that when she punches, punch. Straight punch, chin choy. The other hand sits out here, relax her shoulder. Yeah, let me guide you. Okay, again, wide open. But why is this happening? We're training her, use this elbow to help you twist, punch. Yes, punch, punch, punch. Now, stop. The benefit of this is if she relaxes now, straightens out her body, extends her arm like she's punching. Don't twist, you know, just extend. This is as far as she can reach. Now, if we face this way, um, switch, your, switch the um, red, use the red line in the center. Okay, extend the arm like you're going to punch. Don't twist yet. Just relax, relax. Now, that's as far as you can reach comfortably, right? I take another step. <clears throat> now, can you see how far away that is? Yes. All right, now twist. All right, she can reach me now. Now push me a little. Stick. See, now I'm even leaning. That shows you just how much this twisting gives her extra in punching. Now, here, step aside. Here, let me face them. So then the next step is, after you get comfortable with the twisting, you have the twist, is stages of generating power, okay? Which is what we begin to work on next. So one of the principles is, you take Lok Ling Kun, the most basic routine, Six powerful fists, some people call it six basic fists, other people call it the idea is you're teaching the basic fists. In reality, in this routine, what's important is the fists. So, what it encompasses is either walking with the feet in this orientation and me extending my arm here. Right? And then you'll see some, they'll have a, a what appears to be a block here, and then they'll generate their punch. We call a circle block. Okay? Leading up to this block, there's a whole sequence of training for the sake of building power. And what that is, you'll see some people making what appears to be a mistake in their block, where they're going way back here like this and then coming way to the front to punch. And again, wide open. This is all for the sake of learning how to generate power. 
These are all beginning levels, beginning stages. Even when you see people doing like that. Again, for the sake of generating power, you're still not in a position within the Lama system to be ready to fight. You don't have the power yet. Because our goal in the early days was northwestern China, that whole region along the Silk Road, there were many bandits, many soldiers who even acted as bandits. Your punches should be able to send a message even through armor. So that's how we were training. Okay? That's why you see. So then the next stage we come, after this, when you understand how to generate the power of the body mechanics, then the punch is changing. Here, in White Crane, you'll see some stand like this. One hand in front, one hand in back. This is still just the next level, more intermediate now. And yes, with the other hand in back, you think it's out of the game. But it's not. It's because of a basic principle in physics. Force is mass times acceleration. To build up my force, I'm maximizing distance as a beginner. I'm using all this trajectory here to build up my velocity. Okay? And in more advanced, the hands are in front. Doesn't matter where they are, up, down, wherever. Still, I can strike using my twist. Ideally, I want my feet on a straight line. When we're attacking here, typical crane style, it makes both hands convenient for striking. But again, this is more advanced. Why? Because this issue of power. It's very hard to stand here and generate power. But, if you come back like this, step in, swinging, you could generate a lot of power there, and that's what we're after. So in the end, you get to the point to where the power is just generated by touching. That becomes the goal. But again, that's more advanced. We say it's more advanced only because it takes that much more skill to be able to use it. It's not that it's more dangerous. It's actually less dangerous. If I wanted to play tag, I could sit and touch someone all day and be lightning fast and they would still be standing there looking at me. But the Lama system, its emphasis is based on this principle of the great ape. You know, not some little monkey dealing with a bird. No, it's this image of a great ape. So you're trying to show the power of what a great ape would be like in your punches. And most people can't do that like this. Very difficult. So that's to us more advanced. And that's why you don't see it that much in the Lama system. Very few people get to that point. And the goal is you just touch. That's all you have to do is touch and you can penetrate. Okay, you can stop.